I have a zit growing right above this eyebrow, and I swear to God, if any of you look at it, <gasps> video game weapons. You love them, I love them, but which ones really are best? And we're starting with a banger, the energy sword from Halo. I love the Halo weapons, except for the human ones. Look, you walk up to me with either an energy sword or a lightsaber, I'm taking the energy sword every single time. I'm thinking A tier, the op, but like, the ripoff one, the operator. The operator is very cool. All sniper rifles are really cool, but this one's gonna be deducted points for just straight up, just ripping off another game. I'm thinking of C tier. <laughs> now this is a real man sniper rifle. The Modern Warfare 2 intervention. I don't care what you say, the hit detection in Modern Warfare 2 was like peak gameplay. It actually kind of made the game really annoying. Sleight of Hand Pro and this weapon right here was absurdly good. B tier. Look, Hero of Time, your weapon's real dope, but hey, look, it's kind of basic. The Master Sword. Look, I love swords as much as the next guy, and the Master Sword, it's a very cool sword, but in two games, the Master Sword rusts. What kind of legendary weapon that's supposed to save the world multiple times over rusts? I think it's a C tier. See, we're going over iconic weapons in video game history, and nothing is really more iconic than the Zapper. It literally looks like it's about to take my head off right now. I've used the Zapper one time in my life, and it barely worked and I would normally put it into garbage tier, except for it's the only thing on this list that you can physically hold. Everything else here, you could buy a toy version of it, but the Zapper, that's what it was intended to be. You survived the garbage tier this time, Zapper, but D tier. This is gaming greatness right here. The hidden blade from Assassin's Creed. Look, Altair, Ezio Auditore, uh, Connor. I don't know any of the other assassins. I Kind of stopped at the third one. <laughs> and how could you not think this is one of the coolest weapons ever? In lore, you have to cut off your ring finger to use it. Well, up until Leonardo DiCaprio like engineered it so you didn't need to do that anymore. But still, that's so cool. Absolutely S tier. The Blades of Chaos from God of War. They're like belated nunchucks. The only problem I have with them is, say someone just ran up to you randomly on the road and there was like, yo, have these. And they were the actual Blades of Chaos. Could you use them like Kratos? No, that's why it's A tier. The Mega Man Blaster. Why does it look like all these are about to take me out? For some reason, the idea of charging up something and then shooting a large thing is so cool, but it's also super basic, and that's why I'm going to put it in B tier. You might be wondering, why is there a Pokeball on this list? A Pokeball is not a weapon, except for in Super Smash Brothers, and this is the only item that is allowed to be on at my house. I mean, you get to chuck it, you can kill people with chucking the ball or the Pokemon inside. Sometimes you get a Goldeen, that kind of sucks. I'm thinking C tier. It's definitely not as deadly as the rest of the weapons that we've gone through so far. The Lancer, the Gears of War assault rifle. When Gears of War first came out and the assault rifle had a chainsaw on it, <laughs> yo. My 12 year old mind was blown. In the game, it actually kind of sucked. The shotgun and the sniper rifle were just like straight up better, except for in Gears 2 and on, but Gears 1 was where it was at anyways, so. Literally, they just found two things that are really cool, guns and chainsaws, and put them together. And it works so well. A tier. This car is not from a specific game, but through your mind, all the games that have cars in them that technically really shouldn't have a car or a car is not the main thing based on it, like give me like a Warzone, a PUBG, a Forza. <laughs> They're all kind of busted. You know what? And cars in real life are also kind of busted. So I think cars are an S tier. Easy. It's, an, it's one of the easiest S tiers you could ever ask for because they're always good in video games and they're always good in real life. Unless you, they break down all the time for you, which sucks, but not for me. The portal gun. Wait a second. Did you just stare at my zit? Now there's only one thing you can do. Hit that subscribe button or I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. Either of those two options, there's nothing in between. Talk about one of the coolest weapons to actually just have. If it was real in real life, oh my gosh, you would be the best thief 
ever. It would be such a great heist weapon. Did I just make a new video game? Portal heist. Now there's one thing that's really keeping this out of S tier. It's not really a weapon. Like you could shoot it at something, but I'm not sure it will actually be taken out on a date to Olive Garden. A tier, the op, the real one, the AWP. I need to give respect where it's due and put it into A tier. Look, you have some nerve showing up on this list. Hey, I respect the couple of times that you took out first place for me so I could get first, but the 95 times that you took me out doesn't make up for those two. Garbage tier. A really big sword. Cloud's weapon, the Buster Blade. The real problem I have with this is people making a real replica of it and trying to wield it because that kind of takes the allure or the mystery that like, hey, I could do that. I could swing a big ass sword. But then you realize, hey, this guy's like three times my size and like super buff and he's having trouble. So for any normal person, this is a wall decoration. D tier. The M16A4. I don't know if you were there to play Call of Duty 4, the first Modern Warfare. This gun ran rampant. Look, everyone that's played Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, want to claim that their games were balanced and fun. They were not. This gun ran rampant in Call of Duty 4, the first Modern Warfare. Same with the FAMAS and Black Ops, and same with the ACR in Modern Warfare 2, before they patched the models. This was the burst weapon to put burst weapons on the map. I mean, it's super boring. It's just a, it's literally a gun. And is a real life assault rifle cooler than a Pokeball? I think not, D tier. I don't know if you can recognize this weapon from the side, so I have a secondary picture of it. There she blows. This was definitely someone's thumbnail that I stole off of the internet. The BFG. You see, there's overpowered weapons, and then there's the BFG. In the original Doom, I believe the final boss died in three hits to the BFG. Um, meanwhile, if you really wanted to kill him with the pistol, the final boss would take like 9,000 hits. I'm thinking, I'm gonna put it in B tier. The Monster Hunter Great Sword. It's just a big sword. I'm gonna put it in D with the Buster Blade. Sorry, Monster Hunter fans, but it is literally just a giant sword. Cloud did it better. The Plasma Cutter, it just, this limbs everything. Only problem is I don't think it's as known as all the other weapons on this list. I don't even know if people even remember Dead Space. Do you, the audience, remember Dead Space? I'm putting it in C tier. The Fallout Fat Man. Am I gonna be taken out by yet another one of these guns? It's gonna throw it back for it. <laughs> Nuclear bombs in real life, terrifying. Nuclear bombs in video games, Hella dope. I've never fired the fat man and not smiled. I think it's an S tier. A shovel. Garbage tier. The golden gun from 007. This is like the original one shot, one kill weapon in multiplayer. It's cool, but I think I'm gonna put it in B tier. Look at those polygons. Look, when they could only make everything out of squares. The gravity gun. You could just pick stuff up and chuck it super far. It's like your Herbert Hoover of the Los Angeles Chargers. I don't know if the gravity gun, if you actually had it in real life, would ever get old. A tier. So normally I don't repeat stuff in the same video game franchise because I don't want to pay, play favorites, but Halo is my favorite franchise. So you can suck it. I'm putting the needler in this goddamn list. You put a few needles into someone and then they explode? Come on, that's us tier. The diamond sword. This is the best toy weapon. Like if I go to my local Kmart and I go to the toy aisle, I will pick up the diamond sword every single time. I don't know why, but it gives me such dopamine in my skull. I got, I, I have to say S tier. See, up until recently, I hated Disney adults with a strong passion. The only problem is someone gave me the realization that I am a Disney adult. They own Star Wars, they own Marvel. I like both. Luckily, I don't like Kingdom Hearts all that much, and I think this is really stupid. Put the Keyblade in the garbage tier. The OG Keyblade? It's not even like the coolest one in the game. A rusted frying pan. This is the PUBG frying pan. And look, I love cast iron as much as the next person, but this is a PUBG frying pan. This John is bulletproof, and anything that's bulletproof, is pretty freaking sweet B tier. Look, I haven't played Fortnite in like a couple years, but come on, the pump? 
Do you remember this bad boy in like season two through like four? The double pump? Having all pumps in your loadout except for healing items? Oh, baby. Man, I love the pump. I'm gonna put it in B tier. The ray gun for Call of Duty Zombies. Low key, I actually kind of think this sucks. I used to knock myself out with it all the time. I always prefer to just pack a punch a normal gun instead of the ray gun. It would be cool to have in like real life. Could you imagine just firing this bad boy off like across the ocean and just seeing the ray go across the water? Dog, that'd be so dope. But I'm gonna put it in C tier because I don't think it's actually very good in the game, but it is cool. Soul Edge from Soul Calibur. I only played Nightmare. That is my character in Soul Calibur. It's so cool, except for like, it, I I don't know any of the lore of Soul Calibur, but I assume that once you start using this bad boy, it starts infecting you and then it gives you like a really cool looking arm. A sword that slowly kills you or takes you over while you use it is pretty cool. Up until the death part. What about if your arm just has starts having a mind of its own, you don't even control it anymore. Oh my gosh, is that what happened? Soul Edge, what do you do to people? Am I gonna need to put this in garbage tier because it slowly eats you away? Much like watching this video till the end. I'm gonna put it in garbage tier because it's gonna kill you. <laughs> this is the final tier list. Agreements, disagreements. If I missed one of the weapons in the tier list, feel free to comment it. I'll put it in the tier. I'll comment back, I swear, I think. And don't worry, I didn't forget. You looked right above my eyebrow. So that means you have to subscribe or I cry. Unless you're already subscribed, in which case, respect. Maybe like the video.